Hey everyone, thank you for using Worldcast and thank you for following these tutorials. In this one, we're gonna be going over some of the cool features of Showcast Studio, more about the interface, more about the user experience and more about some maybe hidden tips and tricks along the way. This shouldn't take long. So here I am in Showcast and I have a couple elements placed uh, going behind, starting from the foreground, working way, uh, its way back, right? So while we don't have a lot of information on the sides, we want to keep it so it's all about design. So you can just stay focused, right? That was the whole idea with, with uh, broadcast. So if I grab something, everything else goes out of focus. So we can just focus on that one element, right? And maybe see other objects. Right now, here's an MP3 uh, element on the screen. Well, if I'm designing and I want to get through to it and I want to stay here as I'm designing, I can just click once and click again and it goes through the items. Let me show you a more advanced example of this. So here's the, here's, here's the KP9 logo. I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna drag it down and put it right on the ground plane, okay? So it's now directly behind everything. So maybe I'm looking at this and I see KP9. I, I can click once to go on this object here and then I can go through again and grab KP9 visually. So I can grab it that way. But maybe I totally can't see it at all for some reason. So what I could do, if I know what's there, I can click through, so I got the box, Click through again, I have the Sketchfab logo uh, element. Uh, and now I click one more time and I have KP9 and I can scale it and design it from behind. So this gives me a good way of actually lining up elements, okay? So I'm just gonna go undo that. We have an undo option on the right-hand side. We have undo and redo. So we can go back to the initial state, many, I forget the history state, but it's 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 more than enough to get you through. Uh, so another thing about the uh, showcast layout. So right now I have this set the inches in the cast properties, okay? So what that means is the leading edge of this uh, of this uh, circle is is a is an inches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the leading edge of this perimeter. Now that's to help you have a volume of eight all around. So if you're designing something that uh, could be feet or something, it, you know what the uh, range will be for your design. So if somebody's standing right outside when they place it, and this is what this arrow's for. This arrow is where the cast is gonna face. So this is the initial pose, and it also helps you understand the environment if you're designing something that's eight feet big, so maybe you set it to 10 feet, and that each square on the leading edge would be a 10 foot by 10 foot, so that could be a 10 foot room if you're designing something. And maybe, so you can place something that's like a, uh, maybe you want something that was a couple inches away, in this case, because it's set to inches, I would be able to take this, and I'd be able to take an element beside it and say, okay, I want this to be uh, one square away, which would be one inch if I if I was to line that up exactly how I want it to be. So you, you could actually place something to be an inch away or a foot away or a meter away based on the, on the grid unit. And that's how that works in Showcast. Wherever you define it at the very beginning when you create the cast in the size of cast, whether it be meters, centimeters, feet, inches, the grid becomes that unit of scale. So Worldcast be an absolute scale to the environment for both Android and iOS, this is important. So if you're designing the scene, make sure you pick your size, your size right. If you want it to be a desktop experience, go into inches or, or uh, centimeters. If it's uh, a room scale, go for feet or meters, okay? So that, that helps out there. Uh, what else do we have? If I'm on an object, we want to make sure that the object itself, the window, would just change with the information based on the object that you have. So in this case, I have text. It brings up the text dialog. I'm bringing up the uh, this model and it's giving me the option of adding uh, backwards, none, or forward spin, or picking from the list of animations if there's animations attached to the model, as well as the ability to edit the model. Uh, if we would have an image in here, it would just give me the option to replace an image. Uh, we don't have, we do have one audio, so let's grab, grab this. We can listen to it, to it. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you place it, except for the spatial audio component. If you want to place it up higher, lower, or further away, it'll get louder as you get up to it, uh, left, right, and, and elements like that. So uh, on the right-hand side, we have the account. So you can go see your user account, your billing, your analytics. Uh, if you have a, a paid description for a certain cast, you can change, you can go create a new cast. So you can pick, you can go, uh, let's just go create anyway. So this you can pick for print cast, show cast, and geocast all in the same studio. And you're able to go and view your casts. Right now I have it filtered to show cast. I'm just gonna open up, uh, let's get rid of that. There we go, so now I can go through all my different casts, how many times they've been viewed. I can filter by print cast, show cast, geocast. 
scheduled active ending expired. This is the same for all the studios, actually, this little uh, dialog box here. Uh, I can fil by, filter by when they're created, modified, descending or ascending. And of course, like I said, the filters and when they're scheduling, if I pick on one, I can just see how many times it's been viewed. If I have a, a free cast, I can get more analytics if it's a paid cast. Uh, but you have all the same options to, available to everybody uh, on free. Anything you create free, there's no limits. There's no view limits. It's, uh, you know, you have a banner across the top that says made with Worldcast and you can see limited, you can see the views. Uh, you pay for the $10, it removes the banner, and you get the uh, where, when, and how long, but not based on uh, right down to the IP, based on the generalized area. So not and not by any user account. We don't know. We don't know any specifics. It's uh, it's just based on the server information. So we want to keep the privacy that way. So uh, that's kind of how we've done things to keep it nice and clean, and be able to access information get those basic analytics for uh, people that might need them, uh, as well as keep it so that the uh, as much privacy across the board as possible. So that is Showcast Studio with some hidden uh, tips for the layering, the way we've done it for the keeping the, uh, the oh, this is what I was talking about before. Uh, see how it goes back and forth? So if you're designing something and it's, you're working on maybe a bunch of elements, we want to keep the box so you could always get it out of the road so you can focus on something. All you have to do is just move it, okay? So yeah, that's some a couple features in the Showcast Studio, and I cannot wait to see what you create.